Let's improve upon the website that I'm making for freshmen via which they can register for intramural sports in two ways. One, aesthetically, and two, functionally. In particular, let's take a look at this source in froshims1.php. Notice that the only changes I've made right now are to change the action of this form to register1.php and to add in this line here, a link tag whose href is the path to a file called bootstrap.min.css it turns out that Bootstrap is simply a library for CSS that makes it much easier to make prettier websites than you might otherwise get by default. Let's now take a look at register1.php. Atop this file, notice that I've added this if construct. If the value of name inside of the post superglobal is empty, or if the value of gender inside of the post superglobal is empty, or if the value of dorm inside of the post superglobal is empty, then I'm executing a function called header, but specifically I'm sending via this function an HTTP header called location, after whose colon is the URL to which I'd like to redirect the user. Then I immediately call exit, because if I intend to redirect the user to some other URL, I don't want any additional code or even HTML in this file to be sent ultimately to the user. Let's now take a look in a browser. Notice first already that this form is much prettier than my previous version, all thanks to Bootstrap. Let's now proceed to fill out this form, but incompletely, so that we can trigger that if block to actually redirect me back to froshims1. Let's go ahead and provide my name as intended. Sure, I'll be a captain. I'll specify myself as male, but I'll lazily forget to actually provide my dorm. Let's now click register. Now notice, I've immediately been redirected back to this form, but that's exactly as we intended. Recall, after all, that in register1.php, if any of name or gender or dorm are empty, that is, the user failed to provide a non-empty value, then we would indeed redirect the user back to that same URL for froshims1.php. Only if a user provides his or her name and gender and dorm will they be allowed to actually register.